Hey YouTube, my camera 1911. Um, just a quick look at uh, firearm I recently picked up. I uh, bought it about, about uh, three months ago, I guess. Um, what it is, is a Herbert Schmidt uh, 22. Um, so, um, yeah, it's old, obviously, uh, relatively old. It was made in the 70s, about 72. Um, I picked it up from a local gun shop. Um, really reasonable price. I think I paid, I don't know, 150 bucks for it. Something just caught my eye about it. It had a, has a lot of character. Um, I kind of, uh, I wanted a little 22 um, handgun to uh, just kind of plink with at the range. Uh, basically just something to um, shoot in between mags on you know the more expensive stuff like my 45s and the 9 mils and 40s and stuff like that um, something to just take up some space and uh, also for my for my son um, he enjoys shooting like my 22 rifles and stuff like that so I figured I'd uh, get him into shooting handguns um, you know with uh, with a 22, so I want better one to do it with than an old single action. Um, so, anyways, so that's why I got it. Um, when I first got it, first of all, sorry, I guess we should have done this, but obviously I've checked it before the video, but everybody always has something to say about it, right? Uh, so, anyways, we'll just. Can't really tell, but anyways, there's nothing in there, so. Okay. So, anyways, um, when I first got it, the blue was almost gone off of it, and uh, the grips were really, really wore down, and they're actually really rough. I don't know, uh, I don't know who had this thing last, but anyways, the grips were really rough. Uh, they were really light in color. There was no finish left on them, and as I say, the uh, the bluing was almost gone. Um, so, anyways, what I did was I uh, stripped it down, cleaned it up. I uh, I reblued the gun. Um, I also sanded down the the grip, the grips, and uh, stained them. Um, so yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. Anyways. Um, I like the uh, I like the size of this one. It's really really similar to like a Ruger uh, single six or something. Um, we had a Bearcat growing up that me and my brother learned how to shoot on, and uh, it's quite a bit smaller. It was quite a bit smaller than this 22, so I'm kind of glad it's uh, a little bit bigger uh, to hold on to and stuff. But yeah, so um, I've taken it to the range. Well, every time I've gone. To the range since I purchased it basically um, put about oh I don't know probably five or six hundred rounds through it in the last few months of uh, of 22 performs great works good cycles good locks up you know um, it's nice I guess originally these came with uh, two cylinders um, one being a 22 Magnum and the other one being a 22 uh, long rifle or short or whatever you want to shoot through it but um, this unfortunately when i bought it the uh other cylinder was gone um so i don't have the 22 magnum cylinder because that would have been nice to have but uh anyways uh you know for the price of 22 shells it's uh, definitely paid for itself um and i uh i really like it it's uh really straightforward i haven't taken my son out yet um to shoot it but uh i will be doing that right away here so that's how that works anyways um, yeah so that's it like I say just a uh, quick look at it here Herbert Schmidt 22 um, I think actually yeah they're made in Germany you know it's not the I mean they're not the best quality gun obviously but hey you know I mean it's lasted 40 years or something um, and through neglect and stuff too, I guess, from the looks of it when I got it. Uh, yeah, 1972 stamped here. Um, but yeah, it uh, it shoots really, really straight. So, you know, and uh, the rifling's still strong on it. So, oh well. Anyways, okay, well, that's it. 
That's it. Till next time. Thanks.